Today, Dix Trips jumps aboard a hydrofoil in Buenos Aires to take a quick one-hour journey to Colonia in Uruguay. On this clear and windy morning, we soon find ourselves on the northern edge of the River Plate estuary. The River Plate, or Rio de la Plata, was the location of the first naval battle of World War II, the only recorded military engagement in South America in the war. The first thing that you notice is that the Rio de la Plata, which means River of Silver, isn't silver at all, but a deep, muddy brown due to the silt that comes into the estuary on its way to the Atlantic. Colonia del Sacramento was founded in 1680 by the Portuguese governor of Rio de Janeiro, and eventually passed into Spanish hands in the late 18th century. Once upon a time, these walls defended the town against attack from the Spaniards in Buenos Aires. But now this cannon only looks over roofs and TV aerials. Colonia is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and this is probably why the streets aren't filled with cheap stores. You can certainly find knick-knacks if you want them, but the touristy shops are tastefully hidden away. What remains is unspoilt architecture and beautifully weathered paintwork. A view from the lighthouse, a later addition to the town, gives us a clear view of where the hydrofoil docks a short walk away. As you leave the shoreline, you notice the sycamore trees that are thoughtfully planted on many streets. Parking fines don't seem to exist in Colonia. This hillman looks like it hasn't moved in a while, and you'd need to bring a small axe to move this citron. As you stroll through the town, it's not too hard to imagine life in Colonia when horses and sailboats were the only form of transport. Colonia is certainly a perfect place for a day trip, but beware of the cafes and restaurants. The prices are exorbitant. Thanks for watching Dick's Trips. We'll see you on another adventure soon.